Good day! I'm Miss Anna Jean Fernandez, your health teacher. So today, we're going to talk about the practices or the activities to achieve holistic health. In our previous lesson, we already discussed the dimensions of health. Do you still remember? Okay, so before we start our lesson for today, let's have a review first. All you have to do is to choose the letter of the correct answer. So I'm just going to read the questions once and I'll give you time to choose. Okay, number one, state of complete physical, mental, emotional, social, moral, spiritual, and environmental well-being. A, disease, B, disorder, C, health, and D, illness. The correct answer is health. Very good. Number two, dimension of health that is a state of well-being when all internal and external body parts can function properly as they are supposed to function. Letter A, emotional health. Letter B, moral spiritual health. Letter C, physical health. And D, social health. The correct answer is... Yes, physical health. Very good. Okay, number three. Dimension of health that is being at peace and in harmony with yourself, others, and the higher power. A. Emotional health. B. Moral spiritual health. C. Physical health. And D. Social health. The correct answer is letter B. Moral spiritual health. Very good. Okay. Number four, dimension of health that is understanding and liking yourself as well as accepting and learning from your mistakes. A, emotional health. B, moral spiritual health. Letter C, physical health. And letter D, social health. The correct answer is... Letter A, emotional health. And last, number five. Being a lifelong learner by continuously wanting to learn new things and improve one's skills. A, emotional health. B, moral spiritual health. C, physical health. And D, mental health. The correct answer is Letter D, mental health. Did you get a perfect score? Very good. Okay, so I think you're ready to learn more. Let's enhance your vocabulary. The first word is immunity. Do you know the word immunity? Any idea? Well, it's the ability of an organism to resist a particular infection or toxin by the action of specific antibodies or sensitized white blood cells. So it is a state of being immune. It is a condition of being able to resist particular diseases. It's our, it's our body's way to protect ourselves from diseases. The next word is intrapersonal. So, are you familiar with intrapersonal? Intrapersonal means relating or within a person's mind. So, intra means within. An example of intrapersonal is someone having awareness of how they affect the world around them. Communicating to oneself internally. So, that means yourself. But if it's about other people, your communication with other people, that is interpersonal. Relating to relationships or communication between people. So take note of the difference. 
intra means self and inter is for other people intra communicating with yourself and inter is communicating with other people okay the next word is norm norm is something that is usual typical or standard norm it's an accepted standard or a way of being or doing things. It is what we do normally. Okay, so the four words are immunity, interpersonal, interpersonal, and the norm. So these are some of the words that we are going to encounter in our lesson today. So I think you're ready. So before we proceed, let's have an activity first. It is called the picture reveal. So you have to guess what is the image all about or what activity do you see on the image before all the numbered squares disappear. So I will click on the numbered square. So let's see the first image. So what do you think is this? What is the boy doing? Okay, that's right. The boy is reading a book. So let's proceed to the next one. That's right. They're talking, but this boy is talking to the parents or parents. This time, this boy is talking to his mom. Very good. Next. So you have to start guessing before all the numbered squares disappear. What do you see? You see Facebook using social media? Yes, that's right. It's surfing the internet. Reading a book, talking to your parents, using social media or surfing the internet. Do you do this? So what health dimensions will be enhanced if you do these activities? So let's go back first to the dimensions of health. We, we have five. The first one is, right, the physical health. The next one is, the mental health. And this is the moral, spiritual health. The fourth one is, with the heart. Emotional health, good job. And number five is the social health. Okay, let's start first with the physical health. So physical health also means the ability to carry out daily tasks without becoming too tired. So there are ways to attain physical health. The first one is to keep the body and mind energized eat nutritious food so what are the nutritious food the first one of course are fruits and vegetables so on the image you see an apple and to prevent eating disorder never skip meals or overeat okay skipping meals is not okay overeating is also not okay the next one to cleanse the body, drink 8 to 10 glasses of water a day. So do you drink 8 to 10 glasses of water a day? <laughs> so you make sure you drink a lot of water to keep yourself hydrated, okay? To keep your body hydrated. And the next one is to increase immunity and endurance levels of the body. Maintain fitness by exercising the body. 
exercising is quite hard to do regularly because we tend to prioritize other things than exercising. Am I right? <laughs> so, to detect illness at early stage, have regular checkups. You have to see your doctor regularly to monitor your health status. That's very important. Next, to prevent addiction, avoid taking addictive substances. So, no to illegal drugs. Okay? Next is the mental health. It refers to the cognitive ability and skills to improve one's quality of life. So there are ways to attain mental health. The first one is set realistic goals. So do not set goals that are impossible to achieve because you will only get disappointed. Don't force yourself to do something that is not realistic. Maintain a positive outlook, especially when dealing problems with conflicts. So always think positively. Do not overthink. Do not worry too much because it will only affect your mental health. Always remember that problems and conflicts are just temporary. Think about the consequences first before making a decision. Okay, always remember that. Let's proceed to the emotional health. Our ability to accept and cope with our own and others' feelings, it involves understanding and liking yourself. Okay, of course we should like ourselves. To attain emotional health, we should be aware and accept one's strength and weaknesses. Just like with our mental health, it is very important to know our limitations. There are things that we can do. There are also things that we cannot do and we have to accept it. It's okay to challenge yourself sometimes, but you have to know when to stop. Okay, handle stress and seek help if needed. We always hear the saying, it's okay not to be okay. There are things that we cannot handle in our own and it's okay to seek help from other people. Expressing how you feel helps a lot in handling stress. So I hope you remember all these things. Next is the social health. It refers to the ability to build and maintain harmoniously and satisfying relationships. Being socially accepted is also connected to our emotional well-being. So as you see the image, it's like the person is communicating with other people. So there are also ways to attain social health. The first one is to increase interaction with other people. So we all know the saying, no man is an island. As much as you enjoy your time with yourself, you must increase your interaction with other people. Okay, next Improve interpersonal communication skills. You must improve not only your intrapersonal communication skills, but also your interpersonal communication skills. Next, assume a positive self-image. So there's nothing wrong with showing your true self, but we must also be sensitive of how other people will think about us. So we need to maintain a positive self-image. We cannot please everybody, but we should maintain peace with everybody to enjoy life. Okay? And the last one is to interact with different types of people. Our world is very diverse. Interacting with other people will help you learn how to deal with different types of people and the last one is to accept and understand different cultural norms so we should accept and respect each other's differences okay so let's proceed to the moral spiritual health it refers to one's faith beliefs and values so unlike the other health dimensions, there are no recommended ways to help attain moral spiritual health. It is more about looking within oneself deeply and understanding one's existence and faith. Okay, it really depends on how you express your faith. Okay, okay. 
that's it do you understand our lesson today let's sum up everything the five dimensions of holistic health are interrelated an individual is affected physically if food and shelter are not fully satisfied this person will also be affected emotionally as he or she may feel inadequate insecure and unsafe so look at the picture they look so down one of the dimensions is not met okay and how will this affect the mental health of the person anxiety may develop when a person is worrying about his or her condition relationship with family friends and with others may suffer also when a person is not contented and his or her longing for love and affection is not met so take a look at the picture when the physical mental emotional and social needs are not satisfied a person may resort to an ethical behavior to satisfy his or her basic needs so you must think if you should do it or you should not do it okay well, how about you are you physically mentally emotionally socially and spiritually healthy I'll give you a few moments to think about it Okay, so let's see if you understand our lesson today. Let's proceed to our activity. It's called Take Actions for Your Health. What health dimensions will be enhanced if you do the activities below? So this is the list. You have to draw uh, six circles on your map and notebook. Each circle represents the health dimension mental physical moral spiritual emotional and social and in the middle is the holistic health so you i'll give you time to write the number of each activity on the appropriate circle for example number one read books so what health dimension will be enhanced if you read book so will it be physical mental it's up to you and you don't have to write the whole sentence you just have to write the number okay so number one you will write it on the circle i'll give you a few minutes to draw and write the number I'll give you a hint. Each circle will have two numbers. So if there are 10, for physical, there will be two. For mental, there will be two. For moral, spiritual, there will be two. <laughs> for emotional, there will, be, there will be two. And of course, in social, there will be two. So are you ready to check? Okay, so here's the answer. For mental, we have 1 and 3. Yes. For physical, we have 4 and 5. So go dancing with friends. So it can also be social, but we are focusing with go dancing. It can help us with our physical health. And for our social health, we have number six and number seven. Attend social gatherings and respect the right of others. Next, for emotional, we have eight and ten. So consulting parents about your parents, show your feelings in a positive way. And for moral spiritual, we have two and nine. So you have to say sorry when you have done wrong. It is morally right to tell the truth. So did you get a perfect score? We got 10.
<laughs> okay, so I guess you really understand the ways to attain holistic health. So let's have our assignment. On your notebook, list down the activities or habits that you do or you want to do to attain a holistic health. Write five activities for each dimension of health. So it means you'll have 25 answers in total. Five for physical, five for mental, five for emotional, five for social, five for moral, spiritual. You have to answer all the worksheets provided for you. Okay, we all seek a harmonious balance of all health dimensions to lead a happy and fulfilled life. It may sound difficult to attain, but developing each dimension at this stage in your life will benefit you for a lifetime. Thank you so much for joining me in this lesson and I hope to see you again on the next one. Good job everyone! Bye!